Butler here with you. What a night from Royal LePage Place it was as the Warriors come from behind to knock off the Penticton Vs by a 6-3 score. Take a look at the highlights and the goals from this hockey game. And it started for the Warriors back in the, started for the Vs back in the opening period. And it came in the way of Cal Arnott. His 15th of the year, just 3-0-1 into this hockey game, getting a centering pass from Cade Littler and finishing off on the glove side of Rourke Appleby. Are not the goal from Littler and James Fisher. That made it a one to nothing hockey game as the V's came out with a hot start in this game. Got ahead one nothing and doubled their lead just after that. 9.24 the time of the goal with one second to go in a power play. It's James Fisher from the right face-off circle putting a puck to the front of the net. Had eyes for the back of the net through traffic at the front of the goal and past the blocker side of Rourke Appleby. That made the game 2 nothing, and then the... V's take advantage of a five-on-three power play. Crisp passing play between Ryan and Connor McPherson before Kate Littler finishes off his third of the year at 18-16 of the opening frame. That made the game 3-0 in favor of Penticton. And you're thinking going into the second period, well, steep hill to climb. Let's try and get back into this game as best as we can. And the Warriors start it early. 1-0-2 into the second period. Jack Pridham from the high slot has this puck find its way through bodies and get to the front of the goal for Trent Wilson who's able to bury it past the blocker side of Will Ingeman. Wilson's ninth from Jack Pridham at 102 of the second period. That made the game a 2-1 to one, or 3-1 to one score in favor of the V's before the Warriors get a power play and it's Felix Caron, the first of his two on the night and 17th of the season. Takes the pass in the left face-off circle from Michael Salandra and is able to push it past the blocker side of Will Ingeman. Karan gets the mark of the power play goal. Salandra and Norland draw the power play assists. And just like that, the Warriors two goals in the opening minute, 57 of the second period. They get the game into a 3-2 range before they tie it up later in the period at 4-10. Michael Salandra bearing his 10th goal of the season. And a comeback that the Warriors had primed from the intermission. Down three goals to get back in this game and even the score 3-3. Elliott Compton and Trey Osmus draw the assist on the Salandra attempt. Who buries his 10th of the year to get the game even at 4-10 of the second period. Before at 7:54, the eventual game winner, Caden Schottmeyer from the right point, drags and shoots past the blocker side of Will Ingeman. 7:54, the time of the marker is Karan. Or that was a Schottmeyer took the pass from Pridham, got it through traffic and past the blocker side of Ingeman. His first career BC Hockey League goal for Caden Schottmeyer, and it's a big one for the Warriors, who are able to come back and take the lead before they weren't finished there. And they get the lead by a pair with 12 minutes to go in the second period. Jack Pridham, the marker, to get themselves ahead by a score of five to two, or five to three at that point. Pridham gets his 11th of the season from Jackson, Kierkostas, and Vigo Nordstrom as it was Pridham on the right wing side with a slap shot past the glove side of Will Ingeman. Five goals in 12 minutes to open the second period and make it a 5-3 game before it's Felix Caron putting the icing on the cake at 17:55 with his league leading 18th of the year from Isaiah Norlin and that's how it's still the Warriors win 6 to 3 West Kelowna victorious on this Saturday night and an impressive win for the Warriors here on this Saturday night to lead into the holiday break and we're joined now